We actually refer to these as shake and break. Okay. In taking on any design, I have to be intrigued with it. It's really very simple. Like the anti-griddle. The sous vide circulator. The smoking gun. This is a butane torch. I'm working on designing these products for chefs because it's a passion of mine to explore the culinary arts. Hi, Louisa. Welcome to PolyScience. I'm Philip Preston, president of PolyScience. At PolyScience, inventor Philip Preston dreams up all kinds of high-tech gadgetry. But it's his passion for futuristic kitchen gear that has captured the attention of America's top chefs, like Grant Atkins and Chicago's Alinea. With a wide array of cutting edge products, Preston is helping to transform the kitchen for the 21st century. Even at home, you'll find Preston testing and fine tuning prototypes of the culinary future. The Garage Mahal. Oh my God, I can see why. This is the first time in my life I've had a garage that was even close to the size that it should be. But I have a lot more use for a garage, I think, than most people. Well, this is where I test a lot of the products that might become a polyscience culinary product. Okay. I wanted to make you a little dish, and uh, I'm going to use the anti-griddle. Anti-griddle being one of your first important culinary yeah. products that you invented. The anti-griddle will very rapidly freeze things uh, to a solid or partially solid state. There we go. The anti-griddle's running. Okay. Take a nice dollop of creme anglaise. I've got this uh, caramel that I made. If we were to put this on a tray and put it into the freezer. It'll take a really long time mm -hmm. in the freezer. And it'll also be a, a very uniform kind of a chilling. And with this, we're really just flash chilling with an extremely low temperature, you know, minus 30. That's beautiful. The caramel is still nice and chewy, and the creme anglaise is still kind of soft on the inside, but really mm -hmm. frozen on the, on the bottom. That's really fun for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is something that I've actually been working on for quite some time now. As yet, a failed experiment. Wow. Oh, and there's some, there's some snow, by the way. It's trying to take something that happens so easily in nature mm -hmm. and you realize just how hard it is to duplicate. Uh -huh. My wife and I are probably uh, the only people that have had a really nice bowl of strawberry snow. The problem I've had so far is I just can't grow enough quantity of snow. One of these days we'll, we'll get it. Oh. <laughs> Your soup's ready. This is some mushroom soup. Every spring we go out hunting mushrooms. My next step, I want to infuse some smoke flavor into that mushroom soup. Oh, all right. The smoking gun is a way to provide a subtle smoke flavor to a dish that might be totally impractical to put on a grill. I think wood for this, I want to use peach wood. All right. This is a fun trick. Adding a smoke flavor to soup. Uh huh. Smoke and soup usually don't go together unless there's been an think. accident. Exactly. You know? So you've got the peach wood chips in the pipe bowl. Yeah. I'm really getting a, a serious infusion of that mm -hmm. smoke to a lot of the soup. There we go. So a good now, flask of soup. Right. One of the concerns, I think, with some people seeing products like a flask. A laboratory flask and um, a smoking gun is that they think they're going to taste something really weird. Oh, gosh, no, not at all. <laughs> mm. And um, the mushroom soup is beautiful and rich. One of the things that has led me to inventing is I love the challenge. It's just a curiosity. It's the fun of solving the problem. And I think an eternal optimism. I still rely very heavily on all of the traditional cooking techniques. <laughs> and really, these are just additional arrows in my quiver. Really, I don't look at any of these pieces of equipment as radically new concepts, but rather new ways to create some interesting drama in the kitchen, just at the push of a button.